in the news. World record holder Agnes Tirup found dead at her home in western town of Eton. EFCC arranged former vice-chancellor on five counts bordering on false pretense and forgery. Report shows IMF raises Nigeria's growth forecast by 0.1%. Data is coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first pan African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and you are watching TOS News 360. Kenyan world record holder Agnes Turup has been found dead at her home in the western town of Eton, a training hub for many athletes. The two time World Athletics Championships bronze medalist, who finished fourth in the Olympic 5000 meters final two months ago, was 25. Kenyan police said they are still investigating the circumstances surrounding her death with crime scene investigators at a house on Wednesday. The Parliament of the Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, is set to hold a high-level parliamentary seminar on 20 years of democratic elections in West Africa. The seminar, which is built to take off in the Ghana's coastal city of Winneba from Orchis Wednesday, will be held under the theme, evaluating two decades of democratic elections in the ECOWAS region, achievement, challenges and way forward. The main goal of the seminar is to assess the electoral systems in the member state to identify the challenges and prefer solutions to the shortcomings in the organization of elections. The influential younger brother of the late Algerian president, Abdelaziz Bouteflika, has been sent to prison for two years for obstructing the course of justice. Said Bouteflika was sentenced alongside the former justice minister, Taib Law, and the businessman, Ali Haddad. Mr. Liu will serve six years while Mr. Haddad will be in jail for two years. And now to Nigeria, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, on Tuesday, arraigned the former Vice Chancellor of the Federal University, Gusso, on five counts of fraud, including obtaining money by false pretense and forgery. Magaji Garba was arraigned before a judge of the Federal Capital Territory High Court, Jabi Abuja, Miriam Hassan Aliu, a statement by the Anti-Corruption Agency said. EFCC spokesperson Wilson Wajarin, who signed the statement, said, Garba is being accused of extorting about 260 million naira from a contractor, on the pretext of awarding him a 3 billion naira contract for the perimeter wall fencing of the university. And President Mohamed Buhari has approved the appointment of Dr. Isra Yakusak as the Executive Director and Chief Executive Officer of Nigeria Export Promotion Council, NEPC. His appointment was disclosed in a statement issued on Tuesday by Malam Garba Shehu, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity in Abuja. According to the statement, Yakusak's appointment would be for an initial term of four years in accordance with the provision of Section 7 of the NEPC Establishment Act 1987 and is expected to take effect from November 27, 2021. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television, and you are watching TOS News 360. National, global, business and sports stories when we return. Stay with us. Thanks for staying. The European Commission has announced a package of measures to alleviate an energy price surge that has sent bills skyrocketing across Europe. The approval of tax cuts and the joint purchase of fuel by the EU members were move among the proposals put forward. Energy prices have hit record highs for various reasons, including high demand for natural gas as economics recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. U.S. officials are investigating possible cases of Havana syndrome illness in Colombia days before a visit by the Secretary of State, U.S. media say. U.S. Embassy staff in Bogota may have been injured by the mysterious illness, which causes a painful sound in the ears, fatigue and dizziness. First reported in Cuba in 2016, U.S. diplomats around the world have since reported cases of the syndrome. The World Economic Outlook report for October 2021 released on Tuesday showed Nigeria's growth prospect was raised by 0 0.12, 2.6% in 2021 and 2.7% in 2022 by the International Monetary Fund, despite reducing the rate of global growth prospect due to the COVID-19 Delta variant. In the July 2021 World Economic Outlook, the forecast for Nigeria was at 2.5% in 2021 and 2.6% in 2020, suggesting an upward review of Nigeria's growth prospect. 
Kim Kardashian is set to get the $60 million hidden heels estate she shared with Kanye West as part of their divorce. Although the couple seemed to have reconciled in recent weeks, making people think the divorce was going to be called off. According to court documents filed on Tuesday, the split is still on. According to TMZ, Kim and her children have been staying on the property since she filed for divorce in February. Talking sports, Super Eagles winger Chidera EJK has won CSKA Moscow's Player of the Month for September to retain the award after bagging it in August. He earned 55% of the votes to emerge winner out of Russia goalkeeper Igor Akinthev, who claimed second position with 21%, while Anton Zabaltini came third with 20%. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first pan African news network. For more update, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Many thanks for watching.